Hey everyone, I'm Ben Avram here again for AE Tuts Plus and today we're going to create a wire text created with particular. So let's uh, first have a quick preview. Okay, so that was uh, pretty cool and to create it it's actually fairly simple process so uh, let's first start by creating a new composition HD TV 720 25 frame rate should be fine and we'll call it main comp let me just uh, create a, a folder for it okay and now let's see first let's start by creating a text just a simple text a e tuts plus that's uh, leftovers from my uh, previous tutorial you have to excuse me let's uh, make it uh, white okay and we don't need any outlines I would like to use a very uh, distinct font let's increase the tracking a more thin font might actually be better in this case okay let's uh, set it in the middle great let's create a new null object make it a 3d layer and let's rename this uh, actually null one is fine just uh, zero zero one should be better and now let's create a new solid doesn't matter which color and apply to it particular okay let's uh, start messing around here let's uh, first rename this layer to particular 001 as well and let's see let's go to the um, let's uh, keyframe the position x y and position z and hit u on the layer and delete those that way we just uh, isolated the position X, Y and Z a very cool trick which I recently learned in a tutorial by Harry Frank and let's hit P on the null object and alt click on the stopwatch next to the position X, Y and pick whip it to the position of the null and do the same for the position Z and pick whip it to the Z value of the position okay so now our particular is connected to the null object very cool and uh, let's see let's set the velocity everything set it everything to zero let's uh, place the null object somewhere around here set a keyframe for it we don't need to see this one anymore let's go to one second later and drag our null object to the top of the A and one second later move it somewhere around here or maybe even let's uh, take this point and move it just above over here or something like that and let's go one second later and move the null object somewhere out here one second later we'll move it here and one second later we'll move it somewhere around here now, 5 seconds is way too long for this uh, kind of process so let's uh, say that from this point to this point it should be 5 frames, something like that make it 10 frames give it 1 second and 10 frames later to reach this point like these two here this will be better great so now we've got this uh, very linear line which isn't that uh, exciting so let's uh, see if we can uh, make it a bit more exciting than it is right now 
hit G on the keyboard to get the pen tool and now let's uh, alt click on these spots just uh, the two top ones and the two bottom ones to get these uh, handles so we can uh, adjust the line to make it a bit more uh, organic and let's shorten this one as well and this one here okay so now we got a better look for it first we can see that the line is uh, ending way too soon let's uh, set the life course to uh, I don't know like uh, 25 seconds or something like that okay so now it stays there great and the size is again too big so let's set it to one actually one looks great okay and there's not enough particles there so let's uh, increase the particle amount to 500 maybe yeah right now our uh, line is uh, pretty much static to make it uh, jig a little bit let's uh, move over to physics and down to air and to turbulence field let's uh let's uh, actually increase this uh, part now let's see, let's set the effect position to 20 and the scale to 15 what we've got here is a nice little jiggle from the string which doesn't make it uh, move out of its place too much now it's time to rinse and repeat let's uh, duplicate these two and hit U on the particular 002 adjust the expression adjust it to null zero zero two okay let's hit you to reveal the uh, position and let's move the end position to somewhere around here let's see let's move the bezier handles make it uh, try to make it a bit more interesting okay and this one let's put it here let's Okay. And if it gets a bit uh, too uh, linear, we need to uh, set the emitters uh, position subframe from linear to 10 times linear. And that will take care of that. And actually, let's do the same for this one. Let's actually get rid of the text here for a second. And let's uh, create a new camera just so we can. Uh, spin around here for a second and let's see we can see the uh, position of the wires is a bit uh, too close so let's go to again to uh, physics air turbulence field and I'm looking for evolution offset and I want to write an expression for it I'll click on the stopwatch and hit uh, value plus open parentheses index index by the way is the yeah, yeah I know I know index is the number next to the layer so index will will mean actually the number 2 times 100 and close parentheses so now they won't all uh, jiggle at the same rate and the same position let's erase the camera and actually let's uh, copy this uh, expression go to uh, edit copy expression only and paste it to particular one and now all we need to do is repeat the process okay so that's the basic idea of how to create this uh, wire text before we continue on to the next part of this tutorial I would like to give you some uh, tips and tricks on how to make your life easy working with this uh, sort of uh, composition uh, pretty soon you'll find your uh, composition is filled with loads of layers especially if you plan to do more than one uh, simple word so to um, keep uh, things organized I suggest that you'll give uh, each character a different color so uh, for instance the layer A will be in uh, yellow color and so on and so forth and 
more like that make sure you name the layer with the letter it's uh, creating so this one will be A and as well as this one and this one okay now you have all the tools to create the wire text so uh, go ahead and do that and I'll skip to the next part of this tutorial okay so now that we're all set and done with the letters We've got a um, whole lot of uh, layers going on. You can see here there's quite a bit of uh, layers. Next, what we want to do is create a small uh, camera animation. And this uh, particular composition is uh, very heavy to render. So uh, to do a little trial and error with our camera animation, we'll uh, use just the A touch text layer and isolate it and let's make it a 3D layer as well. Now let's create a new camera. Make it a 35 millimeters. Okay, and now let's create a new null object. Rename it to cam null. Make it a 3D layer as well and connect the camera to it. So now the cam null and the a text layer are in the exact same position. So the camera will rotate around the a plus text layer. So let's uh, hit R, go to frame zero, and let's see. We want to rotate on the y axis mainly, maybe somewhat on the z axis as well, uh, just a bit. Okay. Let me attack more. Okay, and mark them both, keyframe them, and let's go to 15 seconds and ready to maybe one. Okay, this should be fine. Mark all of the keyframes, right click on one of them, and go to keyframe assistant. Easy, ease. Now let's uh, focus on this part for a second. I would like to have the letters emit not all in the same time, but uh, one after the other in a random motion. So let's say that uh, the A would start at 2 seconds mark, and T would start uh, at 4 seconds, and plus would start somewhere around here, S could start at 0, let's say this one will start here. U and this one will start here and E would start at this point. Okay, great. So we get some randomness in the emitting letters. Okay, and now I would highly, highly recommend to pre render this uh, particular animation in a PNG uh, sequence format with an alpha channel and then continue on to the next part of the tutorial as i said before this composition is very heavy on whatever machine you've got so go ahead and render the particular layers and not the text layer of course and i'll see you right after that okay so i've rendered the sequence out imported it back to after effects and isolated it and if i scroll down the timeline you can see how it goes Oh, very nice. Next, what we want to do is uh, create another particular layer. So let's create a new solid. For this particular layer, we're going to use a preset, a very common one called Starfield, and one Starfield static, but this one. And remember, we still have our camera applied, so we get this motion. And let's adjust it a bit. Let's go to emit U to see. We're emitting 10,000. Let's uh, decrease it to 5,000. Let's see how that looks. And go to particle and decrease the size to 0.1. So I want really small particles. And set the sphere feather to 0. And that's just about it. Right? Right. Only thing is, we want to uh, drag these keyframes to start before our animation begins. So let's drag the entire layer just about here and uh, increase it. Okay, 
So now we've got a greater sensation of uh, depth of field. And speak of the devil, let's add some depth of field. Just like in my uh, previous tutorial, I want to create a depth of field using the lens blur effect. So first let's create a depth of field map, create a new composition, and call it uh, depth of field map. And this is going to be as simple as possible. Let's create a new solid, make it black, totally black. Remember, a black will mean no blur at all, and white will mean 100% blurred out. So let's apply a very nice little effect called circle. Let's uh, go to feather and feather it out way out there. Let's increase the radius size and let's uh, decrease the feather out radius. Feather outer edge, sorry. Okay, so everything within this uh, white circle will be blurred out and everything outside of it will be uh, in focus. So let's uh, create a keyframe for it at frame 0 and in 15 seconds mark we'll drag it here. Okay, so that's our depth map, very simple. Let's uh, drag it in here. And we don't need to see it. Let's create a new adjustment layer. We'll call this one depth of field and we'll call this one stars just to get things in order and now let's apply lens blur and we're going to use depth map layer which will be our depth of field map but our uh, depth map isn't covering the entire area which I think it should so let's uh, increase the radius and decrease the feather okay not too much. Let's see how that looks. Okay, and let's set the animation to be less radical. We want to start over here and and around here. Okay, this should be fine. Let's set the iris shape to heptagon, get the more complex uh, shapes out of it. The iris radius, let's set it to 20. And last, let's increase the feather even more. And decrease the radius just a tad. Much better, much, much better. Our animation is almost entirely complete. Let's add uh, a, a glow effect to our Y text. Okay, and let's see. Decrease the glow threshold and increase the glow radius. And increase the glow intensity to somewhere around 3. Should be fine. And let's decrease the glow radius, 16 should be fine. And to really blow it out, let's uh, duplicate this glow, but first let's uh, decrease it to 2 and then duplicate it. And we will get uh, a real nice glow. Okay. And so, to wrap it up, let's color the wire text using fill. And just make sure it's uh, before the glow effects. And just look at it. How amazing is that? And I think I used uh, some kind of purple. And well, that's just about it. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've been happy to see you for these uh, last 20 minutes or so. My name is Raman Abraham, and I'll see you next time.